of this KK board so in this video I'm gonna do all this wirings of this KK board so if you want to watch all the wiring so please watch whole video and stay tuned with me let's start this is our KK board KK 2.1.5 so in this video I'm gonna do its wiring so for doing its wiring you need this this is a buzzer it came with this flight controller okay so you don't need to buy it separately then those those type of the wires those are the wires then you need this type of device that's already came with this light control so you don't need to purchase separately this and this those are the wires we need to So those are the all wires. This is the buzzer, and this is the receiver. Okay. So this is the uh, uh, Fly Sky CT6B receiver. So guys, if you want to watch this all uh, unboxing video, so you can check on my channel. Let's start the wiring. This is our board flight controller board you can see here those are the all inputs aileron elevator throttle rudder and aux so those are the all input pins okay means we have to connect our receiver to those pins and those are the output pins means we have to connect our motors means ESCs okay let's take those are the outputs output and those are inputs aileron elevator throttle rudder let's start so this kind of wires you need if you look nicely so there is a white wire red and black white wire means signal wire signal pass out from this wire okay and those two those are the power wires black and red always you have to put your signal wire at the inner side of flight controller board okay means white wire you have to put in the inner side okay as you can see here let's remove that and put in the first channel so this is the first pin we have to put this pin into at the first point of this flight controller okay the first pin then take your receiver and put this pin into first channel of receiver I put this on the first channel okay as you can see this is the first channel again there is a signal put in inverse side of this receiver so those are the pins or all the signal pins those all pins are the signal pins okay then take the second one so next time you have to get on the signal pins okay means we have to put on the signal pins it's a signal channel as you can see i have put this wire on the signal pin then take this signal pin and put the second channel of receiver second channel of the flight controller that goes into second channel of receiver if you notice there is there is we can take only signal pins okay we don't need now put power pins those are the power pins we have to put it only once 
then we take only signal pins okay so let's take this another one let's put in the signal channel this is the signal channel again third one the third channel of receiver again on the signal pin at the third channel of receiver is the third channel of the flight controller there is a fourth pin fourth channel there is a fourth channel of flight controller this pin goes to fourth channel of receiver okay that's simple we connect our all inward pins those are the all input pins this receiver to flight controller so let's put the output pins so this is a ESC which is called electronic speed controller it's used for controlling the speed of brushless motor again those are the signal pin this is the white wire means signal and this is the powers this power this wire used for the supplying the power to your flight controller so again this is the ESC and those are the output pins of flight controllers so first channel so we have to put our ESC to here again notice one thing the signal wire inverse side in the flight controller okay you are, don't put in the wrong way inward okay put signal wire in the inverse side of flight controller then this is our motor the brushless motor as you can see there is three outputs we have to connect our brushless motor to ESC here we go oops okay it's ready and the those wires as you can see there is the two wires black and red so those wires used for the input means we have to connect our battery to those wires means it will power on all circuit means it will power on the its flight controller then this receiver as well as brushless motors okay and remaining thing this is the browser which gone on this side okay we have connect our buzzer so that's simple we have connect all our electronics to this flight controller now we have to just power on our flight controller and you are ready to go so guys in the next video i'm gonna do its programming video so if you want to watch those video please you can check on my channel so thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe our channel as well as press bell icon for get notified first when we upload the video and if you want to purchase this flight controller so link available in the description you can purchase from that link and get more information about this light controller please check the description thanks for watching is it come is it go